Man, as annoying as she was, I miss ugly Ashley. With her massive ears and her Leon help. At least she could just shove her in the dumpster. Well, maybe we could still shove this Ashley in the dumpster. Okay, well that's a thought to push me through. Let's get on with this. So we've cleared out the village. I always figured the village was the strongest point in the original Resi 4, and it was certainly pretty good in here in the remake. Quite faithful as well. And now we take on the castle, which I think is the next best part. I always find the game a bit of a drag when we get to the island part. We'll see if that's addressed in this game or not. But first and foremost, our good friend the merchant should be here. And our good friend, loads of crows are around here as well. Sadly, I just cannot kill this guy. Welcome. I got something new for you. What I'm quite interested in is making my box as big as it can get. It's not an option, however. Bang for your buck. I, it. I will absolutely. Pay, I will absolutely pick up this rifle when I get the opportunity to. It's a lot larger than the bolt action. But I should only really need one. Oh, I want that riot gun as well. Yes. I wonder if you can still pick up the broken butterfly for free in this version. Oh well, what can I sell? Uh, all rubbish. It makes no difference. The price is well, We still have the planks from before? Alright, take that. Take the headdress. Sell off the eye, the velvet blues. I'll see what I can do with the chalice and such. Glad I kept my rifle ammo now. And I'm gonna dunk. I just dunk all my resources. But then what's the gunpowder doing? I don't know, I'll get rid of a bunch of my gunpowder as well. Surely the game will take pity on my lack of resources and then give me goodies. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, no problem. Now, you there. Surely it'll give me a nice one of each bonus here. Two color bonus, three color bonus. Surely that's A-OK. -okay. And then we got the spangly thing. I'll just throw in both of the... Uh, both of the colors there. Actually, I am wondering if I'll get more money if I just throw in... three of the same... Ah, nah, never mind. What about you? You all check out. No, you use the other ones. Okay, well, maybe I'll find them, maybe I won't. Still sell them, get my money, and get my items. Take it, take it. Your valuable. Ah, I'll buy it at a high price. <laughs> I do like these using the lines from the original, but I just feel like the All delivery isn't quite there. Tip -top shape, I you. Definitely have that riot gun though. Take my old crummy shotty. Give me the right gun. Ah, that there's a real boomstick, mate. It will reduce your target to a bloody pulp. Yeah, Ninja, going two days out of Orion certainly giving me a bit of a nervous twitch, but it's okay. Tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be back with it. I'll hand this over when you've got the space. Yeah, I'll make the space, don't you worry, buddy. Bit of a delay in clicking and grabbing the items feels a little off. There we go. I'll eventually add a magnum to this if and when I can find one, but that seems like my kind of loadout for this game. Apparently they were intending on bringing the merchant into Resi 5, but never quite made it in. So the interim between the chapters and Resi 5 feels really off. Also need space for you. I wonder how the scrolling works for this. Let's figure it out. If I register you to number 7, say. I don't use the number hotkeys. I just scroll through. 
Oh, but I cannot, unless there's some way to... Ah, there we go, middle mouse. Clever. All right, if that's the case then, I'm gonna register you to eight, and then I'll switch you with the grenades. There we go, then if I need a grenade, which is far less often, then it's scroll through and middle click. All right, I think I understand what's going on here. I also want to see how you are to aim. No scope on this thing. It would certainly benefit from a scope, so I'm even going to buy one, despite the space Welcome. it takes up. Ooh, what are you buying? You're a man of... Don't get yourself... Does that just work automatically? Nope. Gets attached. Hmm. No zoom on it, though. Or is it... No, it's alt to zoom. Oh, that's weird. And uncomfortable. Okay, I'll live with it. Right, let's get on with it then. First by smashing everything covered in yellow paint. Which can and should be mocked whenever possible. The entire game is aggressively grayscale, except for poor Ashley. She does rather stick out like a sore thumb. I wish she was sore. Don't like her, but I'm looking forward to her being stolen away from me so we don't have to drag her around anymore. But there's always a wee bit of escorting her at every part of the game. See here I can scroll wheel to zoom. Oh, your gotta be through that gate. Don't think our hosts are gonna roll out the red carpet. What is that? I'm guessing it's not for decoration. Looks like a manganel, Leon. Things just keep getting better. Yeah, they are getting better because I'm thinking about Stronghold now. Manganel ready, my lord. Catapult ready, my lord. I have forgotten something very important already. I was just thinking, wow, the game looks really dark. That's because I have not turned up my brightness on my monitor to a blistering 20%. There we go, let's frazzle the eyes a bit. And I'm also gonna change my desktop to a flat black so the game itself looks brighter by comparison. There we go. Clever person would remember to do that ahead of time. But it takes a very dark game for me to go crawling over to display settings and my brightness settings. he up to? Oh boy. So these Las Plagas are considerably worse than normal because they have a one-shot rip your head off attack. However, this guy seems to be a little stuck in his tracks, so good news for me, I guess. Uh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> seems to be able to go into the ceiling now. Save me, Red Nine. Okay, so the scarier ones just got scarier. Yeah. 
Hmm. Kind of reminds me of the basement in Castle Bollocks. Hmm. I feel like Jake is having to up the brightness much more often now that his poor Scottish eyes are getting used to the intense sun of Hungary. Mm, I wear shades quite often when I'm out and about in Hungary. I'm not used to such clear skies. I can't believe how warm it is even in February as well. The locals are all bundled up, but it's, uh, it's going to be shorts and t-shirt for me very soon. to zoom in. Hmm? They just hit Trashly. Ah, <laughs> Go right. Yeah. Oh, well I'm not. Oh, I'm really not. Surely they wouldn't continue to shoot Ashley. You hurt? Uh, no, I'm okay. <laughs> Freaking Ashley. Is Ashley even useful? Oh god, no. She's a complete non-combatant. She's just a ball and chain for you to drag her around, so... The sooner we get to the story part where she gets taken away from me, the happier I'll be. Can't get over how faithful this is to the original. I thought they'd be redesigning a lot more. <laughs> and the parts they do redesign feel rather tastefully added. Well, just run on through, Ash. I guess this is their idea of a warm welcome. Uh, Ashley. Uh. Oh boy, quite a few of them. Well, you know what? You you just take Ashley. Save me the bother. Not bad, right? <laughs> I've all beat up already. Come on, we've only just started. Damn, it's locked. Looks like we'll have to get creative. Okay, so I'm suspecting we'll once again bring the cannon out of this tower and blow up the wall. I hope so. Although it's a less than enjoyable mashing section, as I recall. Oh! How do we bring it out? And how do we bring you down? James, I can barely see. <laughs> okay, you used to catch her, but I guess not anymore. She can fairly bring herself down. I 
For a great game, is Jake has a surprising ability not to notice the bright blue gem. Well, I'm not in notice little bits of loot mode. I want to get through the game, not comb everywhere dry of its loot. Besides, surely I don't need all that stuff for playing on game journalist difficulty here. I think I've died a total of one time. Although, I'm open to that changing. Hang on, hang on. Less of that, please. Less of that, too. Why would removing the weight result in the cannon being lifted up? It was clearly on a pulley system. Just shooting those for fun, I'm really not interested in the merchant's offerings. I am very interested in... Oh, come on, man! Do a suplex! Less of that. The addition of moving and reloading is very welcome. suspect you can't see the achievements there, but I got one called Overkill for introducing cannon to the Ganados for- oh, gosh. A well game that makes me feel like a state of decay juggernaut. Can't be all that bad. Why does shooting the wooden door destroy the stone for- oh. Resident Evil 4 is a game that requires quite a lot of disbelief suspension. Oh, I wish I could suspend my ears. Ashley, would you stop panting? Blue medallions, eh? Not interested. I'm interested in meeting tiny little Napoleon. Where is he at? selection of good things on sale, stranger. Yeah, but what you don't have Why is a bigger case. A new gun, stranger. Might save your life. Mm, very if interested in powering up. Chance out there, you best tune up your kit. It's going to be red nine all game, but There you are. As you Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thank you. Elegant bangle, gemstones. I can do that. Yeah, so the yellow ones are worth the big bucks, huh? Hmm. I guess it'll do. Welcome. No doubt there's a way to optimize that better. I'll save my money. I want the biggest case. Bigger case, more loot. Are you? Me? 
Oh, please, call me Ramon. And allow me to get straight to the point. I would like you to hand the girl there over to me. Now. Yeah, fat chance, Ramon. The girl's just fine with me. Mr. Kennedy, Mr. Kennedy, how novel. Nonetheless, you see, the girl must be ours. With a girl as the very source, your United States, and then the entire world shall overflow with his grace. For that is the iron will of my master, the most holy, Lord Sadler. So then, you will comply, yes? Never. You heard the lady. How unfortunate. Do make sure our guest feels at home, now that he has chosen death. Leon? Just stay close. Bit of a disappointment, really. The, I feel like the banter levels were considerably higher. Oh, that's fine. You're only clobbering Ashley. I can, I can make do with that. You will have to give her back, though. Hmm. What am I gonna do, though? Thanks for tanking, Ashley. We'll find a use for her yet. So what's so special about the girl, asks Clear. So Ashley's been infected with a mind-controlling parasite from the uh, earlier mentioned Lord Sadler. And she's also the president's daughter, so the idea is that they, they kidnapped Ashley, they injected her with a parasite, and they'll send her back to... Washington in order to have a puppet control the United States. And, you know, their plan would have worked fine, but Sadler got greedy. Uh, Sadler wanted to bargain with the US and get some dosh for Ashley's return. Which is hand-waved away as saying, you know, it's awfully expensive running an organization such as his. Hell, nothing wrong with being greedy, really. Gonna need another vague interpretation of key for that vague interpretation of lock. So yeah, Sadler's plan probably could have come to fruition rather nicely if he had simply just given the girl back. Won't open. But the desire for Dosh is a strong one. Okay, I thought maybe there'd be a lock that I could shoot out there, but maybe I need to send the trash master up and over to take care of that. Jake, remember to turn off Fidelity Super Resolution 2 in the graphics option. Fix the blurry film grain. Fidelity Super Resolution 2. Is that a real thing, or was my leg being pulled here? Super Fidel... Oh, wow, would you look at that? It's on performance mode. Oh, God, ultra performance mode. Oh, yeah, Christ, look at that. It's just adding blur. All right, let's see if just off... Will be better for that. Okay. I owe you one. So many graphical enhancements just serve to make things look worse, but why? <clears throat> Where did it all start? Motion blur is the first thing that comes to mind, but I'm sure there have been others. These things go away. It's 
spend one, get four. Probably should have used my knife, though. That's kind of nice. The way he pats against the wall there. Looks like we can continue on this way. Be careful. Do not talk to me, Ashley. Ooh, right. Are we going to meet the guy with the big old Wolverine claws? Certainly sounded like him. He's always a good laugh. Credit where it's due, Capcom give the best graphics options I've ever seen in a game. A lot of tweaking. A lot of showing the uh, performance effects. Ha muerto la lulz. Okay, yeah, I, I don't do Spanish. Or for all we know, it's Portuguese. It's all the same. <laughs> okay, going through those jingly janglies, he's certainly going to hear me, but... Let's just let him be. Just let him be! Boy, okay. Not much left of me then, is there? Game tempting me with all these things to break. And also tempting me with that thing on his back. If anything, is even easier to deal with than in the original here. Maybe they improved his ability to detect sound too much. Done and done right. Strange behavior, he swipes randomly and then charges exactly where you shot from. I guess it's blind rage followed by a little bit of thinking. But yeah, it's actually quite a nice touch with those things. It makes hitting one of those things just make you go, oh no, here we go. Kind of like the same feeling you get when you realize you've just alerted the Screamer in State of Decay. Ah, State of Decay. What a sordid game to think of.
<laughs> Second day in a row, you mentioned State of Decay 2. I was actually tempted to fire it up for another run. I know I said I'm done with the game, but there was a YouTube comment mentioning that someone was mixing Rising Threat mod with uh, No Man's Land mod for, you know, an even harder experience. And oh god, how can I how can I stay away from such a thing? But one of my main problems with the game is not the zombie numbers or the special infected or all of that. It's the resource issue. The game is drowning in resources, especially with the addition of uh, loot dropped from infestations, which I do think is a good change because infestations are thankless otherwise. But the fact that you can get pretty much post-game level, fully loaded, non-damaged guns from just going over to an infestation and lobbing a grenade. Well, not even an, a, a grenade. Just go over there and stab someone and take their goodies or set up landmines. It's too... The game is too rich in resources. I want to have to fight off a horde with a, a half-broken okay? pistol with six bullets I'm in it. Fine. Well, for now... And it's not a very mod-friendly game, as we know. If anyone's ever tried to mod State of Decay 2, they know that it is unpleasant. I feel bad thinking and talking about State of Decay, but what am I... What can I say? I'm playing a zombie game. Also... Can I take care of that? Ah, okay, it's another one of those... Never mind that then. Didn't like its noise though. Mmm, stays of decay. Even though I maximized the field of view in this game, it still feels too small. Anything like this before. Some kind of bloodied golden sword as well. Oh wait, now I do. Okay, okay. Hmm. Need to grab the sword, put it in there, open up the way. But if I recall, the original had a kind of... Yeah, here we go. Golden sword, rusted sword... Iron sword. So what do you expect me to do? I can move those swords around. Just some kind of indication of who gets what. Very nice looking paintings here. Right, I think I get it. So, when he's all dead and buried, it's all rusted. When he's engaging in combat, he needs a iron sword. When it's all ornamental, surely he wants the golden sword. But then... It would make sense that that would also be the iron sword. Right, because that's a bloodied sword over there. Right. Makes sense to me, but I still need that sword. What am I meant to make of that? Ah, perhaps I gong them in some kind of order? Yeah, so there's a snake, and there's, what is that meant to be, some kind of fish thing? You, could bring those gongs by you shut up, Ashley. I'm looking for the gong, there it is. And the snake. How long until the armor starts coming to life in this one? I 
know the image you're talking about, Acronymous. Well, it's just a replica. Only a couple of uses for it. The only thing I want to hear out of Ashley is an overtime offer that we can shoot down. Beyond that, just stay quiet, Ashley. I need a Dragon's Dogma. Whoa, no. Need a Dragon's Dogma style option to sit her down at a table and tell her to be quiet. I am well aware of how wolves hunt and that they ill like fire. Dragon's Dogma 2, about a month away. I don't know if I'll stream it. Kind of think of it, not even, not even entirely sure I'll pick it up. It's expensive and it has de novo. Then again, maybe this also has de novo. DRM's getting harder and harder to fight against. Right, we got fish. This is the same room as before, isn't it? Guess we just circled around. Oh, we can do the jump and swing thing, but wasn't there somewhere? Yeah, there was some treasure to be had over there. Well, don't mind if I do. Leon, what are you doing? Don't even think about trying this yourself. Me? As if. Across chandeliers, seriously, who you right seriously, Ashley. Where is the shut Ashley up button? I am so sick of her talking already. Ah, ah. Uh, I bet she'd be more tolerable if I didn't have to hear her in English. But then I'd lose out on everyone else. Where are you, my mother? Talk about how, cast how costly Dragon's Dogma 2 is, and look who shows up. Oh, welcome. Yeah. We want to play a bit too much Castlevania. That's where I want to be, so I can get down and get that treasure. Or whatever's in there. The real treasure would be grabbing a broken butterfly, surely. You wrecked a roundabout bush row. Are you telling me you drove right through a roundabout? Because that would be uh, true American behaviour. Nothing frightens and confuses the colonial quite like the roundabout. Next option to save I get, Ashley is being turned into an Austrian. I truly have no other choice. Mm hmm. Was there a back and through that that I just completely blanked on? Yes, I suspect I was even looking at this door. Alright, get over here, trash. <laughs> Salutations, Mr. Kennedy. Are you ready to hand over the girl? Not this guy again. I'm taking the liberty of preparing some entertainment. Very nice addition to just tap a button and break these things. 
coming to a stop, taking out the knife, and then swinging the knife. Yeah, it was perfectly acceptable 20 years ago, but now, who's got the time? Oh boy, now this is an infamous room. The water room. There's a lot to do in here, a lot of enemies, and you've got your bleeding ball and chain, Ashley. Oh well, no time like the present to get going with this. Don't worry, Ashley, I'm a professional. Oh, it doesn't open. Oh, it does open. The ability to just kind of take a step back helps out a lot here. Was that? I do miss kicking open doors though. with your belly aching. Not too shabby. I think once I'm done with this I'll watch a speedrun of it. It'll be interesting to see how one navigates through Resident Evil 4 Remake quite quickly. The problem with watching the original Resident Evil 4 Remakes is it's all dipmen, out of bound glitches and I don't find it very fun to watch. Which is a running theme with speedruns. Watching kind of game completely broken skip to the end is impressive once, but sometimes you just want to watch a really competent run of a game. I know such things might be uh, oversaturated on this channel. But I want to watch it as well. See, I was under the impression that Muerto just meant the dead. As opposed to die. Maybe they're just chanting about death. But we're gonna need some flavor of Iberian or Iberian colonial to weigh in on that. You're the most competent ape escape player to have ever lived. Ah. That was a sordid tale, that one. And I. Uh, I grew in my respect for. Pete's horrific this day. No, oh, he cleaned out that game lickety spit. Ah, he's a clever one. Oh, oh gosh. They are durable buggers. I really don't want to drop down to those, but... Needs must. <clears throat> Crap. 
crazy. Now, as for you, I want you to kneel before me. Kneel, not fall. Oh, where's my suplex? There we go. Right, so you really do have to get behind them for it. Which feels more than a little awkward. Is he still... No, he's, he's brown bread. Something's happening. Aha! Of course. It's got teeth. As curious as I am to see the uh, the killer move from that that takes out Leon, keeping this a uh, low death run would be very nice as well. So close to having a no death run so far, but that siege was something special. They should do the trick. Laden. Hmm. Don't want to waste my precious anything really, but this is taking up way too much space. So when in doubt, just drown myself in ammo. Did, did Leon just duck his head a bit to miss that? That's cool. Ashley. Shooting at me. Ashley? Ashley? I'll take it as a compliment. Like I said in the original, if there are a lot of those, uh, a lot of those guys spawning, it's a sign of you doing really well. And the game knowing it needs to make things harder for you.
Oh, I thought they might have been nice enough to leave me some belongings. Okay. Whoa. It's exactly the bothersome attack that they have. Very long range. I recall it being a pain in how much it likes to target Ashley as well. You hurt? I'm good. Thanks. I still think skill issue is actually a reference to Morrowind and just it's a reference most people aren't getting, so they don't understand the depth of complexity in calling something a skill issue. That's how I choose to interpret it as well. Even though I now probably know better. It, Ash. I can't wait to save and make you Austrian. Come on. Okay. You're gonna be okay. Yeah, I, I, I got this. I'll cover you. Don't stop. Okay. Definitely showing off my prowess here. A guy that was laying into my aiming maybe has a leg to stand on after all. Be careful. Okay, even I'm disgusted by my own aim here. Fond memories of the stress of doing this the first time. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Ultimately, not too shabby. That seems like an excellent opportunity to just grenade down some crows for some drops. Gorgeous game. I can't deny that. Horrific movie filter things aside. Come on. Hey. And again, it's not really something that can be criticized too much if you can simply turn them off. Fishlips, on the other hand, was streaming a game the other day and uh, the volume option was just volume. No sound effects, no music, no speaking, no nothing. <laughs> if only. The merchant man. Looks like the right place. You okay? I think so. It's 
Instead of worrying about her, worry about your own skin. Foolish little lamb. <laughs> Alright, it is a shame that it has come to this, but I have no option. I can no longer tolerate this game's voice acting. So the obvious thing to do is... Quit game. And do our backup for these sorts of situations. Options. Language. German. Let's get back to it. Es kommen, es gibt ein Problem. Wir haben Zuflucht in einer Burg gesucht, aber ich wurde soeben von Baby Eagle getrennt. Bitte, Knecht. Basis, ich verliere dich. Hörst du mich? Verdammt, so viel dazu. Oh, it's already so much better. I'm not even joking. It's not that I have some great love for uh, German VA, but <laughs> harter Tag, was Fremder? Just so much better. Willkommen. Ich habe was Neues für dich, Partner. Wunderbar, Teenager, you say. In that case, please give me a bigger box. Ooh, actually, body armor is well worth it. Warum probierst du nicht meine neue Waffe aus, Fremder? Könnte dir das Leben retten? Ah. Now it has durability. Okay, well... Maybe I'll just glass cannon my way through instead. He's okay indeed. <laughs> well, that's somehow even better than his <laughs> Thank you. Alright, alright. You start us. Danke schön. The aiming system really makes the handguns blare. The aiming system? Do you mean the part where it takes a bit for the reticule to close up? Because I actually think the gunplay in this feels great. Head and shoulders above the original Resident Evil 4. Moving with shooting is already a great addition, as well as moving and reloading. Makes it feel a little less strategic about placing yourself around for a fight, but that's more than substituted by just overall feeling a lot better. Do we put an end to you guys quietly? Oh, I don't think they're people. At least not anymore. After all the games we've ran dubbed in German, we might be getting pretty good at this language. Voice of Pestilence dwells. Consider, uh, consign the Crimson Flame. Okay. It's also a nice thing that we can have the dub and the subtitles be different. 
some games it's just one pure language option for both subtitles and audio. Not pleasant. Well, not pleasant for me. Yeah, I <laughs> could feel them all around me. Right, where you go, go. Oh boy, he's doing it to us as well. Hmm. I am more than a touch low on healing. I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm in trouble. Well, that's what these are for. Maybe I should seek higher ground. I was contemplating it, decided against it, and now I regret my choice. Such a beautiful language. Okay, puts an end to him at least. No doubt helped by the several rifle rounds I placed in him earlier. And it's this idea that the greatest difficulty level is the one where you win, but you think for sure you could have lost. Difficult to achieve. Hmm. Not 
best pleased with the uh, crafting system. I'd rather just get the ammo. I really don't know what purpose is being achieved by giving me a crafting system for ammo when there are also ammo drops. In the original you would get ammo drops based on the uh, on the weapons you have. to be had. Especially if it's healing loot right now, because I think I used my last first aid spray. Then I should be having it. So you can make more of the ammo you want most, I guess. Yeah, but the original system would already give you ammo for the weapon that you're using the most. Which is why I'm not sure what purpose the ammo crafting is adding. Feels a bit more like a checkbox thing, so like every game has ammo crafting now. We must also. Right, so it's actually down, round, and through. Is that right? Ah, of course, the lantern thing that I picked off the guy could be used to open the door back here. Black asses. Get me off. Hang on, what did that achieve? I just ended it right the way back around here. Is there something in this room? Looks like if I had Trashly, I could pop her over there. Or if there was a bit of a spring in my step. Better keep this place in mind for later. <laughs> Dave the Divers lost flag ass sushi. See, there we go. Just bring it over to Bancho, get a cool animation. Leon. Ich soll die doch nicht benutzen, oder? Ah, nach sechs Jahren ist das also deine Begrüßung, Ada. Du wirkst nicht überrascht. Interessant. <lacht> Wenn du so auf Nähe stehst, nimm lieber das Messer. Gar nicht übel. Sehr smooth. Für wen arbeitest du diesmal? Oh, Leon. Du weißt, ich bin verschwiegen. Vergiss sie. Ihr ist nicht zu helfen. Kehr einfach um. Wer weiß, vielleicht sehen wir uns wieder. Und vielleicht bekommst du dann auch deine Begrüßung. Glaubst du, ich gebe so leicht auf? Klar. Lass uns dieses Gespräch ein andermal fortsetzen. Die letzte, die ich hier erwartet hätte. So Ada Wong in English, her voice is just completely phoned in. Curiously, does it sound like she's not caring at all in German as well? Obviously, I can't tell. Hopefully that's obvious. Had a guy in just the other day thinking that uh, what was it he was asking? He was saying, uh, why are you speaking in English when you're DDR Jake? Obviously thinking DDR was reference to 
Germany. It happens now. Hmm. I want a key for there, but otherwise... If I recall well in the original, this is a sign that we're going to be going through the dog-infested court area. Oh, but only after I plonk in a bunch of these, huh? This doesn't seem right. Why are there two swords? Can I spin it around? like it lines up pretty well, unless this is meant to be something else. Like not a sword. Your armor, helmet, armor, helmet. I suspect that since that can be a hexagon, we want that there. Do we have a square shield somewhere? Well, you're the square shield, huh? I want you there, then. All too easy. Mr. Passon. Okay, jetzt nur noch Ashley finden. Wasn't even a rat, was it? Looked more like a hedgehog. Echo through the mountains, sacrifice your love and blood of your enemy, atone for your ancient sin. <laughs> My sins are far less ancient. Ammo check tells me it's not that great, but that's okay. Low ammo surely means more ammo drops. Not classy. Oh man, there's the thing. When you get sick of quips, just hear it in German. Makes it all better. Maybe I should watch the Marvel movies, but dubbed in German. Surely they do that. Good grief! <laughs> yeah, they changed up how these operate then. Save me, legally distinct Mauser. Probably a good change because those kind of type C Las Blagas parasites were never very interesting as a foe. And they felt easier to deal with than the type Bs. Type B being the big teethy ones that we've been seeing around here, and type A being the ones we generally saw in the village. Seeing that, thinking I have eight grenades, great, but no, if I had eight grenades, it'd be all the grenades we ever need. <laughs> Still no bigger box, though. No bigger box, no buy. Single use ticket to Absence. Um. Die Jahre sind wohl nicht spurlos an uns vorbeigegangen. 
Yeah, not intro. Oh, hang on. Increases drop rate of resources. Right, I've been told about these little little bonus things you can get, but I'm not interested. Oh, save the money I've got. See, Economist, pulley system. Sie meinte ein Treffen mit dir reicht ihr. He's doing his routine again. No, thank you. Oh, boy, that's brutal. there. Also a bit rough. Not sure I could have broken out of that. I tried to tab out to heal up a touch, but clearly too little and much too late. still do it. In the original it was really good to get your kick off against uh, guys with shields because it would break the shields. Just break them with the raw power of your foot. Oh boy, it makes me want to just shield my eyes, the thought of that one. Okay, good. Love the power of this gun. It's not as convenient as the other ones in a lot of ways, but the raw power of the Red Nine. Except for the fact that my general spray and pray is the TMP. Hang on a minute, this isn't space game. Yeah, Avorion is two days in a row not being streamed. Almost unthinkable. It is running in the background. The factories are processing me loads of dosh. The accelerators have stabled out and are printing out a few hundred million credits an hour, which is fine, I guess. I want more. I will have more. The Avorion miners mining that Avorion. Who do we... who's keeping on panting in the background there? Missing something with this? Well, 
there is another one here, so... since we've successfully snuck up on someone and shanked them, but the enemies in this game don't do much in the way of patrolling routes. They just kind of stand there, waiting for you to put them out of their misery. I certainly hope that was a mistype on your behalf, Sagan. Neil! No! No! That man was mine to suplex! There, that's what I'm talking about. Will not be denied. Playing the game is just a proof of work simulation for space factories, increasing production efficiency. I did have to toy around with them a bit, try and figure out what is the optimum level for production efficiency. And I actually think it's 0% markup. So no markdown, no mark up. Seems to get a good balance of uh, sellers selling, buyers buying. And uh, in the end, if your factories are sitting there idle, they're not making you money. Why did I come down here? Just to flick that switch? But for what purpose? Get down. over Metal Gear sh uh, keycard shuffle any day, but not terribly engaging door opening puzzles here. <laughs> German uh, German voices, German language, German mannerisms, and German suplexes. When did you learn that Resident Evil 4 was a German game? Followed. Oh, you get down here. Well, that was complete failure on my behalf. That's what I wanted. <laughs> it came too late. I like that they kept having the Ganados fall down, even from relatively short heights. Oh, 
And I suppose Salazar did say he wanted to be playing a game with me, the old Ramon style. I said Leon to verbalize my feelings on the matter. Why do we have another Gigante here? to do here. I was hoping that would take out his buddies. Dear. <laughs> Thought I had healing, but I do not. Alright, so much for this being a relatively low death run then. Jake, how good is your German? That's non existent. I don't take the language as well, and I've not had any particular good reason to learn German. I was contemplating moving to Austria, I probably would have picked up German there, but I didn't move to Austria. Because Hungary is better. I don't even play Dark Souls, and I've been getting Dark Souls vibes here. Good to know I'm not alone in that. Move it, Leon. Hungarian language, far more superior and more useful than German. No. No, the, the language here is uh, a big barrier. 
but not an insurmountable one. After all, nothing saying I have to talk to people. Call the game, the original game, having so many overtly female cultists. I guess PS2 era graphics. They're all shaven anyway. What are my options here? I need to go back up. It's a rather unpleasant action gamey sequence here. Yes. I had it explained to me that uh, this whole idea of the great Uralic language thing is uh, propaganda and not at all applicable to Hungarian. But I don't know what to make of that and I absolutely don't care either way. Come on. <laughs> I had to pick up and move my mouse three times to, to make that shot. This game is all over the place when it's with camera sensitivity, so left, right, left, right, left, right, and menus woof, all over the place. to tell the tale and then I thought no Ziemlich robustes Tor. Da werde ich großes Geschütz auffahren müssen. Looking back on it, could have used the cannon to take out all of them, but I wouldn't have gotten my marksmanship training in now, would I? Speaking German makes you sound 50% more evil, which could be confused with coolness. This sounds so evil, but it's such a friendly language. Yeah, Boram, I could not tolerate the voice acting any further. So if I can't tolerate it, why not just put it over to something that I cannot under understand. Oh, 
sorry. Ich hatte genug für heute. You really say sorry so often over in Germany? Wo bist du? Here we go, the doggy courtyard. Yes, yeah, so that entire segment that we were just in before was complete fabrication compared to the original. After you meet Ada, you go straight over to the courtyard. So I wonder if overall the game is larger. That Leon is ripped. Ich habe solche Angst. Ich war plötzlich überhaupt nicht mehr ich selbst. Ich war etwas anderes. Das muss schrecklich gewesen sein, ich weiß. Du auch? Angst zu haben ist okay. Aber lauf nicht weg. Du musst nach vorne sehen. Wir stehen das durch. Zusammen. Ich weiß nicht, ob ich das schaffe. Das wirst du. Halt dich nur von meinem Messer fern, okay? Leon. Danke. Oh, okay there. Ashley just opened her mouth, so I decided to just get up and leave. But I'm all watered up now, so let's get back to it. And yeah, Benjamin, we tend to keep it very emote-free around here, so probably that. I mean, you look around you in the chat room, you go, hmm, nobody else is posting emotes. I know, I'll post emotes. People will love that. Luis, wo bist du? Sorry, ich uh, hab's vermasselt. Komm und rette mich, mein Prinz. Treib's nicht zu weit, Prinzessin. Ach komm, bin im Beisal hinterm Burghof. Komm nicht zu spät zum Tanz. Unglaublich, der Typ. Aber wir können ihn doch nicht im Stich lassen, oder? No, we absolutely can, Ashley. Courtyard was a very small area in the original game. What is it now? Oh, I hope I don't need to bring Ashley with me through it. I think we'd lost Ashley at this point. Dogs will be less of a surprise though, we've already seen the dogs earlier on in the game. Well, not even that, Shrelex, it's more a case of if the emotes aren't really doing anything, don't even bother. Hey, Sinuo, du hast die Flagge gehisst! I put a high value on A. Readable chat. Dort kommen wir rein. Aber erstmal müssen wir uns um dieses Tor kümmern. Ich frage mich, ob es was mit dieser Flagge zu tun hat. 
Hmm. Flag is flag. Okay, how do you solve a puzzle like this? Just keep going. Okay. It took a lot more than one shot at the in the village. Poor dog. Maybe because I caught it by surprise. It had already given up on living. Anyway, solving a maze, just hold to the left. There are some mazes that that will not work on. I'm sure it'll be fine here. Less of that. Yeah, that poor first doggy just went down in one, but... Doggy number two still had a life to live. Maybe it's before they transform? I don't know, the Red Nine works in mysterious ways. Oh, you want to do that again? You're annoying even when you breathe, Ashley. I, I just can't stand her. <laughs> I remember having such a problem with her in the original game. Yeah, there we go. German Leon. When he tapped into his German heritage, that's why he became so much more powerful. Suddenly remembered that he had a great great grandfather who was once in Germany, so he's 164th German, practically a German. Benjamin, how do you know someone has ADHD? Don't worry, they'll tell you. Yeah, I feel like this game could have easily leaned the other way and actually been a great horror game. You'd have to strip down a lot of the ways to fight back. Yeah, I think it is. Before they transform, just pop and down they go. Good thing I'm so quick on the draw. Alice Bestness. All is what? In the head, in the... Oh, easy now. Down, boy. Actually, you want to eat Ashley for me? Yeah, so there we go. Now we've got the transformation, and now you are remarkably tougher for me to take down. Stay. Haven't used it yet, but the flash grenade instantly kills any Las Plagas. They are vulnerable to light. Exactly, Benjamin. Just remember to every person you go, oh, I've got ADHD, you are precisely as tolerable as someone going, yeah, by the way, I'm vegan. through here. Poor 
poor dogs. Lovely courtyard here, and they're just locked up. <laughs> With only a hundred pesetas to their name. <laughs> Just bleed the animal. I think it was the movie Seraphin Falls. Towards the end of it, there's a horse that's clearly on its last legs. And then I think it's Liam Neeson. Just takes a knife and stabs it. And my, my friend who's watching it with me goes, Oh, no, I've seen this before. He's, he's, uh, he's just letting the blood. You can do that for horses that are too tired. And uh, no, he, he doesn't. He's, he just guts the whole horse. That scene, coupled with that uh, very incorrect explanation, has been a source of humour between us for a very long time now. And that movie in general. Even when she's kneeling down there, she's just everything she does, she does to annoy me. She's very good at it too. Oh, cripes. Get down. day today. Right, that one I've already done for sure. I think this direction needs to be explored though. Find the final flag. I assume the final flag. And then be done with this part. And again, these broken boxes indicate that perhaps I've already been this way. I am terrible at orienteering. Absolutely terrible at it. Wish I was better. And you'd think with practice it would get better. But if I can't improve it by playing loads of games, then how else could I possibly improve it? And you remain a problem. What's, what's your story? Also, I've definitely been here. Ah, I think I completely missed this. Hey. Yep. Vorsichtig. Danke schön, Graham. just back where I started with this? What did that achieve? Gosh, I'm grim at this. I'm 
And this is partly why I should never be a test player. For games like this, I'd end up being like that guy who uh, was a test player for Valve. Okay. And led them removing some maze-like elements in a cave. Alright, once more. What am I missing here? Up. Maybe don't immediately jump down. Because maybe I need to do this. Oh, that, that can't reflect well on you, Baron. <laughs> Your sense of direction is something else. Did she just say get back? Or was she speaking a more ancient Germanic dialect? Oh yeah, Baron, just just barrel roll to the left. You know, barrel roll to the left and humanity will be saved. <laughs> ah. Still fire that up and rewatch the uh, the air combat every now and then to enjoy a good giggle for an evening. Alright, discount Mauser. Easy does it. Uh, I am not aware of Ashley appearing in any of the other games. But I stopped playing Resident Evil games about halfway through Resident Evil 7. Ah, there we go. The enemies don't like to follow outside of their comfort zones. Bigger box, please. Offering even better tune-ups. Excellent. Könnte zwischen Leben und Tod entscheiden. Bist du beeindruckt? Bei dem handwerklichen Geschick ist das kein Wunder. Truly excellent. What's the unique for the TMP? Power. Yeah, and this is one gun that needs a whole lot more power. Does really get much bigger? I think all we got is this little bit over here. I guess I can live with that. I also want to sell off a lot of my resources. My one man uh, revolution against this damn ammo crafting. Besten Dank. Stirb mir da draußen nicht weg. Twenty-three thousand potatoes. Okay. Now that I've got Ashley, I do want to backtrack a bit to where we were. But do I remember where we were? Where was it we split up? 
because I reckon if I pop her over that up and over area that I saw earlier, that's going to get me my beloved broken butterfly. Plus, you know, I wouldn't want her to miss out on all the cool parts of the castle that I've- uh oh! So they're bringing the living armor to us already. Certainly one of the more bizarre enemies in the game. Can they get through? I think that's the bit that I want to pop her up and over. The game knows what it's doing though. Perhaps I could simply put them out of their misery from here. Ooh. <laughs> Two handed sharp weapon, that's a lot of extra damage. Ashley, is that really where you want to be? Oh, okay. I'm not sure it's meant to be in that room. It doesn't think so either. <laughs> Reminds me a lot of a dungeon Meishi monster actually. is not my broken butterfly. It's come to an end. Cure sickness. Devil in. Da -da 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 -da. Brief history of the prestigious bloodline. The conqueror, the sealer, the architect. Hmm? Sealed away the plague of demons. Hmm. Tranquil, lavish. Longevity, severe. His illness should have killed him, Count Ramon. Hmm. There were writings from um, Ramon Salazar's left hand or right hand man who felt trapped in his fate and was unhappy with the uh, manipulation going on between Sadler and Salazar. You keep saying that. Are there some more treasures in here that are skipping? Because I really would like my broken butterfly, but perhaps that's not to be. I'm trying to think where, if anywhere, I've been missing out on some fat loot around here. Apparently, something in the audience chamber, but I doubt that would have been the Magnum. Mm -hmm. Apparently, it was something over in the blindery, but I think that's just something to open. As in a small key box to open. I could give it a shot, but otherwise we shall move on. What was the first Resident Evil game you played? Resident Evil 2 for the Nintendo 64. I think my eldest brother bought the game, and uh, I remember my middle brother just quivering in fear over it. Good times. Something going on with these? No, the treasure is this thing, which I still don't know how to open, because I didn't find a small key. Okay, if there is a broken butterfly hiding from me, then it's doing a good job of hiding, because I don't know where it is. In that case, we go... where? I've no idea. Perhaps through the courtyard towards the end. Yeah, Resident Evil 2 for the N64. Kind of amazing that they managed to put that whole game in a cartridge, but they did. Incredibly com uh, compressed. But yeah, didn't care. 
played it, enjoyed it. And I really wanted to play Resident Evil 3, but that was on the PlayStation 1, which I didn't have, and also on the Dreamcast, which I didn't have. How much was that thing worth? Not much, actually. Okay. Honestly, we're doing A-OK. -okay. He does sell the first aid sprays, so not that expensive. Let's try the body armor, just to see how it works out. Oh, and we're even wearing it, nice. Elbow pads. Looks like a flak vest. Yeah, this is the path that I didn't go through. Ooh, fish! I'm not sure I'd be all that happy eating fish out of a grimy little stagnant bit of water like this. But if I was hungry... I think I saw one more. Oh, and it's a big one. Big one deserves a proper bullet. Yeah, that's a full health and a full heal, I believe. Gosh, seems like a feast or a famine with the healing in this game. You <laughs> very Factorio, eat fish to heal. Resi 4 predates Factorio by a monstrously long time. Oh, if only Woob got into their heads that they wanted to make their own take on Avorion or X or just a space game like that. What a game it would be. But hang on, with all this I'm just back at the start. Where can one proceed here? Mm. See, Lewis said he was on the other end of the courtyard. I remember that much. Ah, there's a wee stairway that goes up into a door and I completely missed that. Nothing new there. In my hurry to get my backtracked treasures. So where is it, just dead ahead? Dead ahead. Oh yeah, of course, all the flags we did to open up this thing. How did that manage to Come. pass me by? Okay. You got any golden eggs? I don't think so. Der Ballsaal kann nicht weit sein. Geht nicht auf. I say Alexandrite. Sieh mal die Statue da oben. Oh, she said statue, and I'm reminded of the giant statue of Ramon from the original game. I hope it made a return, even though it was a ridiculous part of the game. Hmm. Need can some kind of three heads for the Shimera. Ah, perhaps these ones. Head of snake, head of goat, head of lion. Will you be playing the DLC? What DLC? Also, look at that one. with Ashley's constant panting. We just walked up a set of stairs. <laughs> OK, 
Okay. Why well, do I think this is going to go down? There's the head I need. Ah, right, let's just go for it. I'm deeply unhappy by the fact that Ashley's still here, though. Right, that guy is going to be a problem. Yeah, Ashley, take it for the team. Get down! Yes! No! Damn, I thought I took him out. There we go. Hopefully that's that. Yeah, I see it. Yeah, I see it. was a very nice change taking away Ashley's health bar and just making it that she'll get caught like that because holy moly the occasional crossbow bolt and whatnot hitting at hitting Ashley and the fact that you could use your uh, you'd waste your healing on her or use the yellow herbs on her Or you'd heal her up and then she'd be taken away from your party and when you get her back she'd have full health regardless. Oh lord. No end to the Ashley problems in this game. Couldn't they just done away with her entirely? Made the entire game about uh, just Lewis and uh, Ramon. Endless banter. Be like a buddy cop movie. though. Perhaps I could be putting them to good use. You, for example. You're worth 9,000. You're worth 7,000. So let's take you and... Ah, I see. It's two different things. What if they're both the same colour? Surely that's a nice bonus. Yeah, there we go. Ah, I had it in me all along. I forget, Baron, what's your pedigree with Factorio? It's a game I have difficulty imagining you playing. Not that I'm saying it wouldn't be your game, it's just... I've seen you play quite a lot of games now and Factorio isn't ringing bells for me. I'm sure you'd think up wonderful pyramid-based designs for the factory. You've barely played it. Wow, that's surprising. It's one of the... No, I'd say it's the most perfect game. Mm, is that... I don't know, FTL's a pretty perfect game. Perhaps a flawless game. It's difficult to think of flaws in Factorio. I guess you could say the music isn't very good. But it does its job. You have about 10 hours in it, huh? 
More than enough time to launch a rocket, right? Glad I finally got that 100% death world run completed. Alright, one down, two more to go. That's perfect. At least Ashley's wearing stockings now. We noticed that a very fire retardant stockings previous. She just walked through fire at the start of the game without much issue. I do miss a skirt though. I don't know what that thing she's wearing is meant to be. I mean, it's not shorts, it's not a skirt. Not a bad design on it, though. Uh, they are speaking German. Golden Deer. Bisschen zu altmodisch für meinen Geschmack. Schade. Die würde dir bestimmt super stehen. Because the voice acting was just grating for me. So instead, I put it in German, where. It's not grating for me at all, and I'm sure it's absolutely horrible for our Germanic speakers. All in all, my experience is made all that much better. Looks like we're going to be jumping into a pit of... Oh, I didn't actually mean to jump down, but here I am. Alright, what's coming my way? Yes. Why, why, why are you holding on to that, Leon? <laughs> Ah, don't worry, they look scarier than they are. Tough to work around in the original, I often thought, though. Thinking about it, they were a lot faster in the original. I also don't recall just kicking them to death. <laughs> hey, you don't need to know German to understand that, surely. Ashley's done all she can. Okay, I'm having severe difficulty with this one now. Hey, 
Buenas noches, caballeros. Danke. Alles okay, ja? Hast dich nicht verbrannt? Nein. Danke für die Hilfe. Das hat es echt rausgerissen. <lacht> We had a full suit of armor at the Paradox office. Occasionally somebody would wear it to an event. Had some nifty things like that. Hilf me mal. Okay. Aber nicht, oder? Right. We saw some kind of treasure box that needed something cubic in it. One of my goals in life is a nice piece of armor at home just standing around because I really like the look, says Shralek. Good to have goals, and it's a perfectly attainable goal as well. I know a shop in Edinburgh that would sell you one. Although I'm sure that's of incredibly limited use to you. The games have been very generous with ammo, and I'm convinced it's because I keep throwing away all of my resources to make more ammo, although I'm frustratingly still piling up my inventory here. Let's enjoy some delicious raw fish then. Keep Leon in tip top shape. Uh, been here, done that. Leave well enough alone. Did you ever wear the Paradox Armour? No, but I wore the Magicka robes. Which, thinking back, was a bit daft, as I'm not a not a big Magicka fan. But it was an event. Okay, I need a way up there. But how? Schlagen for snake? Feels like a slurred way of saying serpent, perhaps. Ah, ein Speisesaal. Essen? Hier? Nee, danke. Looks like there's some kind of puzzle for who sits where. I'll eat the red herbs though. Yoink. Very short on yellow herbs, but those tend to be hidden away or in treasure boxes because they'll permanently increase your max health. Mm, I'd have to be able to wear the armor and I'm a very quality minded person so I will buy an expensive one more. Okay, yeah, it's good. Hast du eigentlich viele solche Einsätze? Uh, ja. Allerdings habe ich meist nicht so eine nette Begleitung. Ist das ein Kompliment? Das überlasse ich dir. I'm so glad I have to hear this in English. Right, so the lassie's got two knives on her right, a fork and a spoon on her left. No food. No food at all. This looks quite promising. <clears throat> Okay. And the bloke has three knives, uh, two knives, three, uh, three knives, two forks, a spoon. He's got a big old bottle of mead and some bread. Big old bottle of mead, some bread, three, two, and one.
Done in one. Scheint wir lagen richtig. I didn't hear the English voices. I really dislike the German ones myself. Well, that's very unfortunate for you. So this is my self-defense against the uh, quippy dialogue of this game. Leon, hinter dir. Zurück. Oh, I was dreading this part. It's the Ashley section. Let's hope it's as short and painless as the original ones. Ashley's got her own tiny little box here. The original Ashley could suplex a Ganado. I suspect that's not possible here. Because you needed to put a Ganado on its knees by opening a door on it. Actually, I, I'm curious. Can I actually barge the doors open? Is that door going to close itself? Right, so if I were here and I double tapped F. Come on, Ashley. Oh, no, no, she just auto opens it. Um, next, normally you double tap the open a door button in the original, you kick it or slam it open. Is this no uhr? And that will injure the person behind it. Resting forebearers answer to the chosen time. Chosen time. Nancy Drew segment. I think Nancy Drew's a redhead. She's not a president's daughter, but she's a lawyer's daughter. No shortage of daddy's mummy for Nancy Drew. Couldn't have a poor heroine, could we? She's one of uh, Hillary Clinton's inspirational role models, I hear. Presidential connection for Nancy Drew. Eine Geheimtreppe? Führt vielleicht zu einem geheimen Zimmer oder so. <laughs> yeah, just gallivant off to Egypt for a bit, Nancy. Don't worry about the expense. Uh, not just Egypt, she's been all over. I think fewer than half of the Nancy Drew games actually take place in the States. She went to Ireland, Scotland, Germany, Egypt, Japan. Was Icicle Creek in Canada? I know it had Canadians in it, but they might have been just crummy tourists. Schlüssel. Okay. 
Okay, this looks like somewhere to slot in the mysterious runic cube. I think it was in Canada, says Baron. Yeah, there we go. Sure, we can trust Baron on the matter. Which is your favorite Nancy Drew game, Baron? Oh, Lord, do you have to choose the key? What stopped me from trying all of them? Nothing, okay. Simple, huh? Just, just try them all, Ash. The Resident Evil games love their elevators like this. Chief Irons had one around the back of his office. The Paris one, that may be because relics ran it, a uh, danger by design. What a terrible one. Keep getting out of this confounded place is the insignia. To find it, I must venture to that cursed armor underground mausoleum. Mm hmm. How about we figure out the mystery of the save and save oftens? Bit of an indicator on these now, isn't there? But I don't know what the chosen time could be. Huh. I wonder what the chosen time could be. Sometimes I wonder why I even bother with the puzzles. If they're going to be brain dead to that degree. But then I remember some of those Silent Hill puzzles and how I kind of wish I just wasn't there for it. My favourite Nancy Drew story featured Professor Layton and Don Paolo. <laughs> I put minutes of work into that opening, you know. Okay, so you tell me I can just look at this thing and it'll die. Okay. Would you mind just staying there for me?
This is ridiculous. <laughs> feels like I'm playing with some cheat mode on where I just look at enemies and they die. Or maybe it feels like I'm playing a Vorion with my giant spaceship full of endgame guns. Then I really look at things and they really do die. Why did I come back here? Ah, the clock. Does clock. Okay, I, I am losing myself here. Where am I meant to go? If I myself turn to the right and go through here. Die Ur. Like the game of Ur. Well, to ask what is the time in Swedish is to ask what is the clock, and that gives my uh, my other Scottish friend who settled in Sweden a good old giggle. I didn't think many of the old guard would be joining me in Sweden, but as it happened, one of my old university pals ended up moving there. Mash on, mash on. Big congratulations to the guy, he even decided to get a woman and a kid there. Here we go again with the gongs. The moose, the fish thing, the snake, and the eagle. You know, I see an eagle like that. Every time my mind goes to Bionic Commando and the bads. Well, the resurrected Nazis, but that game was extremely heavily censored for the international release. Play it in Japanese if you actually want to fight resurrected Hitler. That is to say, fight against, not for. This whole segment is ridiculous. <laughs> we are so powerful. And it feels so undeserved as well. Okay, I didn't think they'd come through here. Wanted to grab my goodies. Hello, Jake. Hope you have a great stream. What difficulty? I'm just playing on standard mode. I have a slight level of regret. The game is very easy. But I mostly wanted to play this for the experience, as in see what has changed between uh, the original and the remake, rather than specifically give myself some ball-busting difficulty. Hmm. There's one 
to three in. What is going on with you now? Ah, I see, I see. They're giving me different different little bits here. Crescent moon, full moon, and half moon. So what do you want out of me? Any indicator of what goes where? took you off for example yeah okay that that makes a lot of sense doesn't it Yes, no, obviously my friend did not just grab a kid off the streets of Stockholm. He had a child. And he clearly enjoyed it because he's having another one. Of course, if you're going to have a lot of kids, do it in Sweden. What did I get out of all of that? Oh, what did I pick up out of all of that? Ah, of course, the insignia, so I can go and say hello to Leon. Oh no, I was hoping for a Vorion! Done with all the VODs on YouTube! Oh man... To think someone would be here wanting yet more of Orion. Uh, I don't know where I'm going here. The wrong way, evidently. And he's go through and through and through. And now i just gone and left this, uh, this guy right here, so let's zip on by. Not everything's made it to YouTube yet, it's big chunky loads of Avorion that have yet to be pushed over and processed for YouTube. YouTube doesn't like getting big long videos from Twitch, but it's just going to have to choke it down. It took a lot of um, self-restraint for me to play this and not more Avorion, for what it's worth. I was really thinking about optimizing my mining fleets. Why can I not open this door? Is it being blocked? Maybe I did go the wrong way after all. And the uh, the path that I need to go through is in the library. It would make sense, because I can't see a damn thing here. I saw the 11 hour one come through on YouTube. Kind of a lot to digest. Yeah, I know, but I... Uh, I don't want to cut up my videos into smaller amounts just for the sake of cutting them up. Plus, I personally enjoy big long videos on YouTube. It used to be that I cut up everything into half hour chunks and on reflection I wonder why. Where am I even going? Do I want to go there? Do I need to go up and around? How did I even come back up here? It was through there, right? So, yes. Have at. Uh, okay, maybe not. Okay, I'm so lost.
Oh yeah, I don't expect anybody to be actually sitting on the edge of their seat watching every fine detail going on in the perfect Hansa. Nobody did that. Hopefully nobody did that with the Patrician 4 perfect Hansa. Ashley. Alles okay? Ja. Warte, ich hol dich da raus. Kommst du runter? Ich fang dich. Ja, ist gut. So, was Neues zum Bernstein? Nein, tut mir leid. Aber mein Helferlein stiftet ordentlich Unruhe. Alles wird laufen wie geplant. Solange du deinen Hund unter Kontrolle behältst? Er tut nichts. Glaub mir. Schön. Behalte ihn. Aber beschwer dich nicht bei mir, wenn er dich beißt. Also, würde ich das interessieren. Wie es aussieht, geht's im Thronsaal gleich zur Sache. Babysitten nervt, ha? Huh? Hey, Ada? Ada? Super. Oh, naturally, I'm muted. I wouldn't want to talk over this masterpiece. I was a touch disappointed in Leon swearing in uh, English, though. What about the German? And Rainy was hoping for some shice. Have we even heard him say that though? Feeling robbed here. Okay, where are we going? What are we doing? this even accomplish for me? There's the dining hall, the armory. I'm sure it's something very obvious and I'm sure I'm being very oblivious. Doesn't change the fact that I don't see where I'm going. Unless... <coughs> That's right. Follow through the way that Ashley went. Plus I've got the runic cube thing. And I can open up those parts, wherever they were. Although I wonder if the nasty armoured guys are still going to be waiting around. Probably. Most certainly. Bold of you to assume there is Polish. Why would there not be? I didn't check all the languages. I think I noticed French and Italian when flipping through for German. Didn't notice any others. 
treasure in the library. It was a treasure further down, though. There's nasty looking spooky face guy there. I think there was a challenge to defeat that guy in the mausoleum, but I'm not going out of my way for British, German, Spanish merchant man. Even if he does, ha ha ha, thank me. That's what I'm looking for. Oh, you want me to think? I wasn't aware that was part of the agreement. Oh! Well, this is very new. A fully automatic rifle. Almost feels out of place here. Hmm. Not to mention, I definitely don't have enough space for you. What do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven spare slots for something that takes up double that. Okay, in that case. Let's make some space. That might be enough. One, two, three, four, five, six, but you are seven. But I'm not done yet. Not done yet. Hey, okay, now what in the world is your story? You can register you as an alternative to the TMP. Fully automatic. Powerful as well, holy moly. But despite this, where am I heading out to? I think I want to go up and over and then go through this way, I imagine. So, follow through and hold right. Now attained level of standard American mall cop with this armament layout. Oh, and more more goodies. Okay, was there a rounded part? Good thing it's just a treasure. A little space for you. Treasures are ethereal. second, this isn't right. Truly I wonder where my terrible sense of direction comes from. I want to go over in this general direction, but where even leads there? do it.
Oh boy, those things, right. Well, hopefully they are... Oh dear. <laughs> hopefully they're like in the original, where if you don't look at them, they're actually relatively harmless. Also, hopefully they don't know how to open doors. selling spree. So the reason that uh, Leon became Super Wonder Cop is that after the events in Resident Evil 2, when he escapes from Raccoon City, the uh, US government corners him and coerces him into joining their... Uh, God, I don't know what you call it, but their training regiment so they could work for them. They wanted to keep a tight lid on the events of Raccoon City. Although I don't know why they decided that a rookie cop, a very young rookie cop at that, would be exactly what they want. Still broke open. Psychic powers. Okay, perhaps my budget approach here isn't working so well. But if you don't see them, they can't hurt you. Wait, was this the side that I was up and at earlier? Oh, I've just come back. Okay, hmm. Well, once more into the breach. I think I need to go up and over there, so up that staircase. How goes the infestation town? Cockroaches here are a little aggressive. Yeah, we need a bit of a better spray to take care of these guys. Well, we did actually pick one up, didn't we? Picked up a very effective spray. Giving me ammo here, that must mean they want me to shoot this down. Surely. Okay, surely not. Oh, OK. 
Okay. Hmm. Yikes, it's formal German. It feels way out of place. Ah, only you'd notice that. By the way, what rounds is this weapon of mine firing? Three times power against weak points. Penetration can be used with scopes as well. But what rounds does it fire? It indicates that I can reload it, so... Whatever I had seven of, I now have two of. Oh, it fires rifle ammo. That's expensive. That's expensive and unpleasant. I might just sell the thing. I hope I get my ammo back. Hmm. What in the world am I missing here? Oh, jeez. Oh, didn't realize the last Black Ops was gl uh, growing on this place the way that it is. juts out as if to say it can be used for something. There's something here that... Ah! Haha. Is not great, Leon. Far from great. Let's just take these out quickly so that I am no longer where they think I am. That's what I'd like to say. Story here anyway. Needs a key, needs another key. My best guess is that they're dropped by my big friends here. Nice seeing them tear each other apart, though. That I do most assuredly appreciate. They say bingo. If ever I was in dire need of a merchant to sell my goodies to. Ah, crumbs. I panicked because I could hear someone right next to me. It was that guy right there. Cause of my woes. Mm. 
mistakes were made. So is there a way to unload my gun? Wait, there's a storage? Typewriter storage. Need to try that out. Resources. Uh, oh, I don't have that option for you, but I do for you. I'm not sure I trust that. Hmm. Oh dear. Oh, that I don't like. <laughs> oh boy. I thought, I thought it looked like one of my arms were sliced off there. That I do like though. I need that rifle ammo. So I'll locked away on my uh, rifle investment. I can ring the the big old bells and that makes them drive over to it. Nice. Me. Right, let's just calm down a bit. Can't believe you're still alive. Okay, there we go. How's that for a trick shot? Two for the price of gun. I really thought my goose was cooked there. are also length three. Hmm. Easily sorted, but now I got no room for anything else. Does Jake know about the auto sort? There's an auto sort. Ah, there's an alt auto sort button. Ooh. I thought it might be a soulless design, but no, that's actually rather nice. Yeah, no, I didn't know about that. I should have known about it. Uh, I think Callum told me about it, but it would have gone over my head. Right, well... I guess we'll save space by using up you. And then what we'll do, we'll auto so Oh, auto-sort won't figure a way to get you in. How about that? Oh, easy now, I want that. I haven't been using flash grenades much, actually, given that I have five of them, I haven't been using them at all. So that's all the more reason to register them. Any more for any more? What is that? 
Oh, more bolts. More bolts for the gun that I'm not using. I don't recall RE4 original giving you uh, ammo for weapons that you don't use, at least not as regular drops. Ashley! Leon, stop! Nein, komm nicht mehr! Mr. Verletz! Pass auf! Bitte, fahrt vor. Nos despedimos, Señor Kennedy. Durch, Ashley. Bin gleich zurück. Oh, that was far worse than that scene in the original. I didn't need to see Ashley being force-fed sewage water, and I missed the... What happened to the satisfying sound of impalement? Won't fall for that old trick. And he shoots no, the same leave. thing. Okay, well, never mind that. I am so overdue <laughs> getting rid of my inventory. What do I even have left that I can do here? Something's got to go. I'm not going to say no to healing, so goodbye parts. Uh, maybe goodbye knife. Basic mass produced one. Could also chuck away nine bullets, but... Ah, well, goodbye knife. Is there a way to select which one's currently in use, though? Ah, there we go, there we go. Should be getting, use, uh, should be getting rid of the crappy one-use ones instead of my proper good knife. Is this meant to be some kind of clue? Looks like he's got something dug into him, but maybe that's not good. When in doubt... The map will show me the linear way forward. <clears throat> this has become such a staple in games now, the moving between the very tight area. I think it's designed to hide loading screens and whatnot, but surely that couldn't be the case here. Send the empty gun to storage. I have one empty gun, and you know what? I don't want it to be empty. Actually, I could have done that to save space. There we go. Okay, we still there. The whole game just hung during that moment. Leon did not want to get elbow deep into this water. <laughs> what? 
We've got giant lust black ass toads here now. The birth of the battle toads. Oh, maybe it was the wee flying buggers then. Looks like if I just follow my way through, we'll get a ladder out of here. Rather not hang around here, this game is dark enough as it is. stick his arms through the bars, but I do want that yellow herb. My max health has been too low for too long. Too unaugmented. How long has it been since I was thrown down here? Meager scraps of food provided are gone. Hunger pains, drink water... Weak, Alberto, why do you test us so? <laughs> That'd be the ultimate torture. You shove someone in a pit like this, give them no food, but keep dropping valuables. Give them jewels and crowns and whatnot. I'll make you a very rich man. Okay, but where was that yellow herb at? I will indulge in the full heal. There we go. Oh, that's not. I don't think it's been explicitly said that Leon has the parasite right now. We we saw it, but I don't think Leon has had any reason to believe that he is last blagast. And he hasn't coughed up blood yet. Give it time. Oh, rancid. Definitely up the fidelity from the first game. But I think we have to deal with Salazar's right hand down here, if I remember well, which I might not. You don't fight regenerators until the island, I believe. Oh, thank God, that's the merchant man. Deliver me from all of these guns I have. Hab neue Ware. Willkommen. Ich hab was Neues für dich, Partner. So I think I'll just get rid of the assault rifle. It's definitely an incredibly good gun, but I don't want it. And I lost all the bullets in it as well, didn't I? Yeah, that is the real kicker. That was 20 yeah, rifle welcome. rounds. No new case for me. Meine Waren sind in einem top He's got the striker. Very good shotgun, but no thank you. No, the time has come to sell. Perfume bottle, yes. Extravagant clock, yes. Robino oder Ramsch, es macht keinen Unterschied. Aber wir entscheiden, was es uns wert ist. Goodbye, Bolts. Hmm, dare I pick up the broken butterfly? I haven't found one for free. I'm not sure if I will. I'll hold out hope, though. Goodbye, Mines. Let's get rid of that crummy gunpowder as well. <laughs> Danke. Kann ich... Hmm. 
Can't help but feel that the elegant crown would be worth a lot more than the chalice of atonement. What if I get the lots and lots of colors bonus? Like so. Whew, okay, now we've got something that's worth some actual dosh. Give me that they come. Frenda. Oh. Dafür bekommst du ein hübsches Sümmchen. <lacht> Kleinigkeit. Langsam verstehen wir deinen Geschmack, Fremder. Do love my TMP. I do I want to invest in you further? Für diese Arbeit braucht es Fingerspitzen. Damit hättest du unseren oh. Service für diese Waffe ausgeschöpft. If you want that, you've got to do this weird trade thing, huh? Single use ticket that grants access to a weapons exclusive upgrade. What a strange thing to need for it. Hmm. At least I assume that's needed. Oh, God knows. How much are the pesos in USD? Probably like 30. I do not know. Of the mainland European currencies, I think the only one I ever used was francs. It's a hundred thousand or one ticket. Mm. Okay, then I'll save up my hundred grand and get my ultimate TMP. Still a little gutted about losing all the ammo in the other gun though. Upon the release of this valve, black liquid enters my veins, circulates my body. Painful experience. There's a trial. True servant. Surpass limitations. Servant. Find heretics. Execute them. Vertigo. Yeah, Vertigo is quite the fight. Quite the trivialized fight if you have a particularly powerful magnum or you have the rocket launcher. He can actually evade the rocket launcher. These Leute sind doch gestört. So you gotta freeze him beforehand. <laughs> so all the so the crocodile clips coming out of the ceiling there. I can imagine the stuff on the island. I'm surprised that there's such tech on the castle though. Circuit breaker laboratory. Okay. It's gonna give me the countdown for it, no doubt. Boy, that auto sort is really good. Thanks for telling me about it. Simply need to go, do the breaker thing, and then get back. And surely Vertigo will just let me QTE away from whatever he does. Like so. I wish that uh, Crouch was not the same button as the QTE to not die. I like C for Crouch, but... 
he would probably be preferable. Uh, wait, what's going on? I thought I hit the circuit breaker thing. Evidently not. Here we are. Hello. Oh, no, we gotta open it all the way. I see. Can these be shot? No, okay. Need him to chill out a bit there. I could fight him, but I rather think I will just make my daring getaway instead. Come on, Leon, work those arms. going around here then. <laughs> it amused me that you could actually see the, the tickery thing for the elevator come down. I'm wondering, is it actually moving? Does that look like it's moving to you? It is! Oh, cool. Guess we got a boogie then. Done. Okay. No more nitrogen to freeze you with. And this door is broken. Okay. <laughs> Perhaps there's a limited amount to use. I didn't even realize you could kill him when I did this. Oh yeah. 
You can freeze them and shoot them and you do quite a lot of damage, especially with the broken butterfly. In the original, I mean. I'm just running around this guy because I think it's going to be easier than fighting him. But you can also just freeze him and then blow him up with a rocket launcher, which is the very easy way to go about it. Go on, you agonizingly slow elevator. Unsere jüngste Tochter, die nun eine der unseren ist, die aus unserem Fleisch ist, unserem Blut. Mein treuer Jünger wird ihr den Weg weisen. Jetzt geh! Bring den umherirrenden Kindern die Erlösung. Wie ihr wünscht. Ich mach den guten Preis. Capcom always impresses me with their cutscenes. The fact that the character models in it will, will reflect how you've got them set up. So Leon there with his armor, his flash grenade, his shotgun. They do it well, do Capcom. dir besser. Ja, scheint zu wirken. Tja, leider wird die Wirkung schnell nachlassen. Das Mittel hat dir höchstens ein bisschen Zeit verschafft. Kann es weitergehen? Ich schaff das schon. Ashley ist wichtiger. In dem Fall wissen wir, was zu tun ist. Dann komm, Sancho Panza! Retten wir Prinzessin Dulcinea! Du tust dir bloß weh. Hey, das war meine Lanze. Okay, ist gut, ich komme ja. Warum hilfst du mir? Was ist da für dich drin? <lacht> Kein Grund, misstrauisch zu sein. Ich will einfach bloß helfen. Do marginally regret not trying killing him when we were in the siege, but the siege was too much fun. Cool little cutscene, he kills you if you shoot him enough times. Worst day of my life, my daughter's birthday, but I'm stuck on a mangy boat. Castle, take care, dust. Mm -hmm. Never should have come here. <laughs> Everything for you, Lord Sadler. Where's the four itchy tasty reference? Ich hab neue Ware auf Lappel, komm! Oh, was kann ich dir Gutes tun? Yeah, there's a rocket launcher. Trying to go the whole game without buying it, it's a massive crutch. Die Entscheidung sollte dir leicht fallen. Otherwise, otherwise. Ob Rubine oder Ramsch, es macht keinen Unterschied. Aber wir entscheiden, was es uns wert ist. Nicht schlecht. Yeah, I gotta save up my dollar dues, get myself a big boost on TMP. Zeit. 
Is this chick's first time with the game? First time with the remake. I've played the original a lot. Such a selfish thing to do. Hey, seit wann ist das hier eine Sackgasse? Da ging's eigentlich zum Ausgang. Scheint, als hätten wir Gesellschaft. Was machen wir? Well, this is odd. This feels very much like. We're in the island area. Oh, wait, he tanked that. Yeah, tank that. This is new, though. Never had Luis Serra on our side before. Not like this. Oh, nice, if he wants to just shoot for me. <laughs> Get your ass up, Seta. This is nice. You know, one of my favorite parts of the original Resident Evil 2 was having Ada by my side, and then she could do some... Uh-oh, no, that I don't like. That, that's... There we go, there we go. I think I just heard that Sarah got hit by the shovel. <laughs> oh, I'm having too much fun. Think better than shooting Spaniards is having Spaniards shoot each other. He just cleaved right through Sarah as well. You can do it, Lewis. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Yeah, from what I saw in this game, you can carry the chainsaw with a knife, which I'm sure is ridiculous, but I don't know, I'm too antsy at the thought of uh, engaging the chainsaw, it's one hit kill nature with something else in Resi 4, but uh, I believe there was a recent discovery that it can be parried. In the original Resident Evil 4, the chainsaw attack can be parried. But you had to do something like, what was it, up the frame rate of the game? 
and then you can you can shove him back as as he's chainsawing your chest. It's always interesting, I find, when discoveries get made very late into a game's life. Like that hidden message in Super Metroid. Not everything can be data mined. So much nicer having Louise Serra with me as opposed to Ashley Graham. Although I'm constantly filling this thing up with trash. Hmm. Really should start using those grenades. Still got it and shoot the explosives clean out of the air. Where are you, Lewis? He's not very good at it, is he? Why does he just take one shot at a time? Ada Wong in RE4, she she was in it for the thrill. She went for the kills. Oh jeez. Kneel. Kneel. Mm. Uh. No. It was a bit more enjoyable in the original where their heads would just pop like melons. Oh yeah. It does have a good blunt force thump to it in this. But the big kapsh of blowing up the heads in, in RE4. Oh, that was good. Just like Infra. Hältst dich erstaunlich gut. Sicher, dass du bloß ein Forscher bist? Ich bin nur ein normaler Typ, der zufällig gut bei Frauen hat. So are we still in the castle part of the game? Because this is feeling a lot more like we're in the island part. Sarah. 
Right, I need you on there. Oh, I wonder if I can dunk Lewis in it. It must be done. Oh, he knew to back away there. Hmm. don't want to step in the center now, do they? Perhaps the implication is that you need to stagger them whilst they're on the center. Stagger. <laughs> just, just jumps clean off. Okay, what, what are my options here? Well, that one's standing right on it. How could it come to this? All right, big guy, get over here and stagger, will you? <laughs> it's so weird the way they just dance off of it. Ah. See, there you go. Just, oh, oh perhaps not. At least it revealed his true form. forward a bit there. There we go. Down you go. is even doing any damage. He's been shooting at these things whilst I've been faffing around with this.
Um, over here. I'd take a tooth for good luck. Hey, I think we can do it. Not so much in the big stacks of cash in this game, are they? Because if you took out a big boss in the original, they'd usually drop big lumps of gold. But this guy, he had the wherewithal to drop me one barrel. Well, there's your barrel. Okay, it's open. Uh, Mann, war das anstrengend. Die pferchen die Dinger sogar hier unten ein? Das hier ist für Sie heiliger Boden. Hier unten haben Sie Las Plagas entdeckt, eingeschlossen in uralte Bernsteinvorkommen. Na klar, was auch sonst. Hang on, now I remember there was an underground mining section in the castle, so we'll probably emerge back into the castle once we get out of here. Yes, yes, it's all coming back to me. But where's the mine cut? Oh, yes! We're getting the minecart section, okay, great. Salazar's personal roller coaster. He was a huge fan of Transport Tycoon. Sancho. This game really did get improved by the addition of more Louis. But this is a bit weird, isn't it? Now we got leaning mechanics for it. This is definitely a poor choice of the Red Nine, though. I'm glad we have Mord Kalp here to confirm that this is an average German work day. That's not too far off the infra experience either.
giant leap at the end with the mashing that you have to do or else you fall down and do it all over again. Even at the time that was some outdated decision. Better than the roller coaster in Apiscuit? Yeah, that was awful. Completely blindsiding you with the jumps and things. I'd sooner do the roller coaster part in Donkey Kong, although that I do enjoy, even if it is a bit zoomed in. Oh, sweet! Okay, weiter geht's! Nicht nochmal. Does strike me as a problem. We haven't taken any chainsaw attack so far, I believe. Be a tragic place to start with it. This is National Express for the Spaniards, I'm sure, True Colt. Paranoid as all heck about Chainsaw Charlie over here. Please don't. Was 
Vor wann gesagt, Herr Sancho? Quark halt. Oh, Mann. Hm. Aber eigentlich passt es ganz gut. Komm, wir nehmen den Lift. Hard to be mad at Louis. At least he knows the situation that he's in. Oh, that was a typewriter. Yes, another done in one. And yeah, it is saying that we're in the castle. Very good. Womit habe ich das verdient? Auf dem Weg außen rum kommen wir auch hin. Na los. Impressed with the characters moving around the scenery as well as they do. Sure enough, it's at certain points, but it looks really smooth. There's plenty impressive about this game. I certainly wouldn't say I'm disappointed with it as a game. Oh. Oh, that's right, they turn invisible in the, uh, the original. I'd forgotten about that. They also melt your face off in what is probably the most gruesome death for Leon. In a game full of very gruesome deaths. Do you like it more than the original so far? Uh, this game was doomed from the start. When it comes to being compared to the original in my opinion. Because the original was revolutionary. There was a tired old standard for survival horror and Resident Evil 4 came along and said, well you can actually make it really sexy, you know? And it was, it just blew the socks off. This game, no matter how good it gets, isn't revolutionizing anything. It's just taking the same old standard, over-the-shoulder action shooter game that we've been subjected to pretty much since Resident Evil 4 Original and just giving us another experience of it, albeit a very good one, if we can ignore the ignore the voices, and now I can. But even if it's a very good game, it won't hold a candle to the original, because the original revolutionized. The glut of god-awful survival crafting games that we have at the moment. Plenty of them, I'm sure, would be held in very hard regard if they'd been the first one out, but they're not. Separate way. Oh God, no, no. I, when I see the uh, when I see the credits roll for this game, chances are pretty high I am done with it. And then I will move on to the next of the long plays. There were five long plays set up, and there was no democracy involved. I, I chose all five that I wanted to do. I didn't want to take any risks. I chose five games that I already had on my I want to play this list. And the game coming after this is, funnily enough, from around the same time as the original Resident Evil 4. It's called Gun. And you can think of it as Proto Red Dead Redemption. This segment really is improved by having Lewis here. Yeah, we're all ready for gum. That game was re-released on the PC. We'll see how well it holds up. I'm guessing not great. All things considered, probably not great. But I want to see. See with my own two eyes. Because it's a game I only played once back in the day. Finished it and went, okay, that's enough of that. 
especially with Red Dead Redemption to compare it to, I'm wondering how it'll be. Not that I played Red Dead Redemption, but I watched Dark Young play through RDR2. And I did think, wow, very impressive game, I never want to play it. Didn't look like my kind of thing. And the game is too huge. With an epilogue that lasts eight hours. Enjoy, Lewis. Leave him to the work. Hmm, still no further upgrade. For the size of my case, that is. For it now. Come to me, TMP. Your final form. Allererste Sahne, das Ding. Gibst dich wirklich nicht mit weniger als dem Besten zufrieden, was? Achievement get for it as well. I reckon following that, I want to work on the Red Nine. I do like it a lot. Probier mal, wie sich das kommt. Jederzeit wieder. Oh, I didn't even save, did I? Not that dying has been an issue for us. I'm at three deaths now. Two in short succession, one at the siege. Yeah, Sanchez, I just could not handle the voice acting anymore. So I went for my usual salve, which is to apply German onto everything. I don't understand it. And what little I do understand, I can at least have a little bit of a giggle at. I can giggle even if I don't understand it. Would you get in here? Oh no, come on, we can reenact the elevator scene out of the Evangeline. Da weiß man solche Technik doch zu schätzen. Ich kapier's nicht. Warum dein Leben riskieren? Du kennst uns doch gar nicht. Habe ich doch gesagt. Damit ich mich besser fühle. Komm schon, sei einmal ehrlich. Los Illuminados. Ich habe für sie gearbeitet. Siehst du, wusste ich's doch. Euch zu helfen macht das nicht wieder gut. Das weiß ich. Aber ich will nicht, dass noch mehr Menschen zu Schaden kommen. Wenn das so ist, häng dich gefälligst rein. <lacht> Harsche Worte für einen Knappen. Endlich raus aus dem Höllenloch. Die frische Luft ruft unseren Namen. Porfin. Denn wenn wir erstmal hier sind, bedeutet das, wir sind fast. Fast was? Luis! <lacht> Lange nicht gesehen, Rookie. Major Krauser? Was soll das? Warum? Sicherung von Diebesgut. Und nebenbei Beseitigung von ein paar Ratten. Einfacher Job. Herrschlich. Das waren Sie. Du kapierst schnell. Was habe ich dich gelehrt? Messer sind schneller. <lacht> 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 Wir fangen gerade erst an, Ruby. 
okay. Okay, we're not QTEing it. I'm a little bit grateful. Major, Sie können nicht klar denken. Oh, ich denke klar wie nie zuvor. Jetzt konzentrier dich und zeig mir was du bist. Okay, you just, you just wait there, Major. I need to not get destroyed by you. Okay, you're gonna have to tell me what he's talking about. I'm too busy focusing on not dying horribly here. Something about an Operation Joker? Squad wiped out? <laughs> Please, Krauser, this is all of my healing. enough Sekiro for this. Genug gespielt, Fuki. Du hast dich kein Stück verändert. <laughs> Was für eine Enttäuschung. Could have done with that death dialogue, but honestly, a better way for him to go than in the original. In the original, Sadler just comes up behind him, tentacles him hard through the chest, and he keels over. But this was better for getting Krauser involved, I think. 
hast tapfer gekämpft. Don Quixote. Nothing to say, was a fun bug. First patches of the game, you could lose the key if you pulled out your knife right as the cutscene ended. You would not notice until the very end of the game where you need the key. Well, thankfully, we have the key. Let's not sell it to the merchant now. I think he's still moving there. It'll be like Chief Irons. We don't know if he's truly dead or alive. What's that little icon in the bottom right there? There's something with a line through it. Oh, I think it says my body armor is just ripped to shreds. I'm not surprised. Krauser did a real number on me until I got a feel for him. But I did get a feel for him, and I didn't die. And that, that was considerably better than having that QTE. The quick time event that you got with Krauser in the original was... Eh, not so great. In fact, this game's largely done away with the QTEs. I am grateful. Leon, ich habe nicht viel Zeit, also hör gut zu. Sie haben deine Freundin auf den Uhrturm gebracht. Beeil dich, dann schaffst du es vielleicht, bevor es zu spät ist. Ah, du bist also doch nicht herzlos. Ich schätze, ich sollte mich bedanken. Ja, stimmt. Freaking Ada. <laughs> they kept this. And I thought this might have been too ridiculous to keep in the game, but they did keep the minecart section, didn't they? Where's this? I think this is where I fought the big bugs. Yeah, exactly that. I'm sure I left some stuff behind in the here, but uh, evidently we don't need those crutches. We're doing A-OK -okay as it is. That said, I would have loved a free broken butterfly. Actually, Niffington, if you know the game inside out, is there a free broken butterfly? Don't need to know where it is, I'm just curious if they kept the attainable free broken butterfly. Then again, that would answer the question whether or not I should sell my magnum ammo. One emerald, huh? I can fill up my flagon. Willkommen! Ich hab nur die feinste Waffe im angefesten Dank. So gut wie neu. Geh sorgfältig damit um, okay? Hier! There we go. Why reload faster when we need to only reload fewer times? There's no free version, if I recall correctly, says Emperador. Okay. I'll hold on to the ammo for now. I'll sell it if the need arises. <laughs> yeah, your own, your own personal cable car in your castle. Wait, a clock tower? Does the clock tower replace the island? Still says I'm in castle area. Hmm. Surely if it was a new part of the game, we'd have an interim. Ah, who knows, maybe... Sal uh, Salazar was just a big fan of the Clock Tower games. I quite like the first one for Super Nintendo. I only watched a playthrough of the second one and play it, and I don't even remember anything about it other than it having a very um, poor transition to 3D. Sie sind überaus hartnäckig, Mr. Kennedy. Aber das hat jetzt ein Ende. Werf den Eindringling raus! Oh, of course, there was a clock tower in the original, it's just they didn't make a big deal of it, and it was very square looking. Because, yeah, you had to go up through this, you had to shoot bits of wood off of the mechanism so it could turn the entire building around. Yeah, Resident Evil 4 has bits that 
you say it out loud and you realise just how ridiculous what it is you're working with. Less of that. Oh, do we get the Donkey Kong barrels though? That's what we're really here for. <laughs> the evolved version. That is so good. I mean, it's so bad, but it is so good. <laughs> Dios mío, el diablo. Okay, let's go. Ow. Oh, very good shot. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a healing, which is not becoming. You down for good? Yes. <laughs> well, leaving me low on options here. Chunk. I think that lastly just tried to punch me. Getting a little extreme here. Yes, yes. Oh no, <laughs> my Donkey Kong barrels. Why even play if we can't play Donkey Kong? long, did it? ground. Are they going to follow me up? Yes! Okay, great. We get to... We get to play the game. part was always quite ridiculous. There's a lot of ridiculous stuff in the first game, but I'm glad they keep it around. Good not to take yourself too seriously. Hmm. Gotta ride this part up. at the top of this we end up fighting 
Salazar. Feels a little early for that. I keep I keep having to hesitate because I can't remember if it's Salazar or Sadler. Sadler's the big bad. Salazar is the little bad. Why he styled himself after Napoleon, I'll never understand. I think it looked better on the PS2 though. He's, he's a bit too grotty here. Oh, no. I don't I don't think I'm even hitting him. Okay. This is unpleasant. Maybe I could have thrown a grenade at him. Hmm. Some people doubted the power of the door oh here. The TMP. This used to be a recurring nightmare of mine, actually, as a child, being stuck in a very small lift like that and having to fight the Resident Evil 2 Tyrant. Good memories. Lift is huge, bigger than some people's apartments. Yeah, thanks for the reminder that I'm glad to be out of Stockholm. Uh, I feel like I walked away from a lot of loot. Is this going to bring me back around to where I can grab it? No, it looks like it just takes me away. I want to get my fair share. I saw plenty of valuables in there. Valuables which I suppose I cannot access. Ach, wheel. If we were playing crowd control, I'm sure we'd find some way to get out of bounds there, but I doubt this has a crowd control. The original does. Okay then. Death number four. Running on an unstable surface may cause it to collapse underneath you. That's a first in the game.
Wait, Frenda is stranger in German? so much by playing this. Femda. Ah. Willkommen. Na dann, was kann ich für dich tun? Well, you can buy my gold bar, my mirror. Ob Rubine oder Ramsch, es macht keinen Unterschied. Aber wir entscheiden, was es uns wert ist. And take all my ammo making stuff because I live off the land. Additionally, what are we doing with you? I'll just shove in you and you. Wenn du willkommen. Oh, was kann ich dir Gutes tun? Besten Dank. Geh sorgfältig damit um, okay? Ohne das nötige mm. Kleingeld sind wir leider die Hände gebunden. I want it, but boy, is it expensive. Um. Yeah, I'll be saving up for that, unless you have a better box for me, and you don't. It's a shame you can't kill him. Not that I want to, but I want to be able to. You can shoot him dead in the first game. Consequently, he won't be back in the next one, but he does, he does come back. Eventually. Übergebe ich dir das Mädchen, wie versprochen. Berichte unserem Herrn von der Ergebenheit seines treuen Dieners, Ramon. Ashley! Solch Dummheit, Mr. Kennedy. Lord Settler ließ ihnen seine Gnade zu teilen. Du zu viel. Doch sie sind... Ah! Sie vulgärer! Unzivilisierter! Bastard! Damn, he knows the Velvet Embrace attack. So this is very different then. It's a much larger stage for this fight. Which might be for the better, because the, the original boss fight with this guy was just a shooting gallery. Dodge his big bite attack and shoot him when he opens up. Or if you really want nothing to do with him, you just uh, rocket him. What in the world do I. Ah, I see, he's putting down little pus balls. Aha. Ich 
Du bist auch nicht schlecht. Du ein gammeliges Stück Scheiße. Ah, uh, okay. I saw. I thought I saw a prompt to stab him or something, but he went away. Easy does it now. I'm struggling a fair bit with Salazar here. Not sure how to deal with his big beam attack. Or ah, <laughs> or that for sure. Okay, I think I have one last get out of jail free card, and that's me. is cooked in this fight. Alright, I'm sure we've learned nothing from that fight. Let's do it again, but better. The German in this fight is too calm and casual. I feel like in the original it was all always... There was nothing very serious going on between little Napoleon here and Leon. There was a lot of banter. Here in the remake, it feels like the banter was gone. Making, this, uh, making all these lines feel a little ill-earned. Seems fine if we just, as he says, dance around him. Don't eat the velvet embrace. Oh. oh! 
<laughs> okay. Much like the original, he has his instant death attack. Very cool. Much faster on the proc, though. Unless I missed some kind of tell. Also the first boss to defeat me in the game. I'll have you down yet, Ramon. I wonder if they started calling him Ramon quite a lot more than... Salazar, so that the smooth-brained like me wouldn't keep mistaking him and Sadler. What is Pulgarcito? What is he talking about? Get down. Sometimes I make shots like that and I wonder, are they doing no damage? Is he in some kind of invincible state after the beatdown? Get down. Yeah, that's his big chomp, right? Yeah, that's the one. Okay, can't hurt you if you don't look at him. <laughs> I thought he was going for the big chomp. Wasn't even my intention to jump down there. Alright, okay, maybe we can do something about this grim situation. Ah, 
Okay. Whew. Not that the original fight with this guy was any good in the original Resident Evil. I don't think this one was very good either. It feels like the, uh, the new Resident Evils are relying too much on this just big block of biomass as enemies. Oh, then again, I think of the Parasite from uh, from Chief Irons or Reporter Ben in RE2. Or, of course, William Birkin himself or Nemesis Final Form. I don't know. There was a bit more grace to the original Ramon fight. I think the moment that I completely clocked out of Resident Evil 3 make was the first fight against Dog Nemesis. Ridiculous fight in an increasingly ridiculous game. Ashley, ich darf keine Zeit verlieren. I've not played Bayonetta. I watched a family member play Bayonetta and I just thought, nah, this isn't for me. That whole kind of stylish killing game, like uh, Devil May Cry, never clicked for me. I want something that feels a bit more refined, like Onimusha. section of RE5. Yeah, I've mentally blanked out a lot of the horrificness of Resident Evil 5, but you're right, there was a boat turret section. Yeah, Resi 5 jumped the shark in so many ways. Thought it might have been the death of the franchise, but some things never die. Okay, Leon's not hungry then. Check on those Japanese beat em ups that have Chihuahua races. Oh man, God Hand is an amazing game, but I don't really like playing it. I've failed you. Unable to fulfill your final commandment. A glimpse of his evil temperament. Mm -hmm. A servant mocked by uttering Pulgarcito. Uh huh. Treachery, infernal cult, vulnerable heart, curse the fiends. Yeah, there we go. This is what I was thinking about earlier. The dismayed family servant, faithful servant since birth. It's duty to have penance. Okay, well, good for you. I thought that was the guy that Salazar merged with to become the big blob. But we didn't see him, did we? Did he even have two entourages in this one? I guess I wasn't paying enough attention. He's too busy telling Ashley to shut up. Perfect. Wenigstens muss ich nicht schwimmen. Alright, done and dusted, and we will be picking this up on the next session, whenever that is, because this is definitely the start of Island. Yeah, there we go.